Shalom, Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders who teach and rule well. A great millstone and peace and salutations and peace and mercy to the prophets, the hopeful elect, the 144,000, and to the men and women of the 12 lost tribes of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Shalom. Uh, back with another lesson. I'm Yashirala 144. Um, and um, I'll title this one The Evil or The Deadly Arrows of Famine. The deadly arrows of famine. Call halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Call halal Yula Alahayanawu Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Um, and back with another lesson. Um, you know, something that's on my spirit. A quick hit, man. Um, but you know, um, there. You know, there's a there's a physical famine coming that the Lord is going to send on 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 the, on the world. And ultimately on this place here in America, Babylon, you see that there's a physical famine, no no food. Um, and we know America, you know, Babylon, America is the most wasteful place in the whole world when it comes to food. You know, um, they, you know, uh, there's tons and tons of food that get, that gets waste, that gets wasted, you know, um, a lot of you know this place is spoiled with food. You 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 have access to food 24/7 and drinks and liquid water. You know you 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 have access to food and, and water and drinks 24/7. You know you know you know uh, you, you, know, uh, you, you, have, you have a lot of you know um, you Americans you, you go out and order food and uh, uh, eat half your plate and throw it away. Uh, get drinks and take three or four drinks and the drink it's just still got half a drink and throw away half the drink you know um you know and then, then you got uh uh you know um you got some of you you go to the club you get drunk and wasted and go out to the restaurant after the club or so order order a big you know 25 dollar plate of food and take two bites and waste it full plate you know, um, and then, the, you know, this, this place, uh, you have your uh, uh, buffets and all you can eat. Then you eat all the abominable foods. You know, this, you know, uh, this place don't, it don't follow the dietary law. This place totally goes against the Lord, man. So, you know, the Lord is sending a worldwide famine, but ultimately to this place here in America, Babylon, his, his cannibalism is coming back. You see? Because this, this place is going to receive its judgment. But let me... Uh, judgment judgment is going to increase, man. And this is one of the judgments that the Lord is sending on this place here in America. Babylon is, is a physical famine. Let me go here. Um, this is just a quick hit. Something that's on my spirit. Um, call Halal Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Um... But this is off the NBC Bay Area uh, news. It's an article I seen in the headlines, um, and this is as uh, uh, June sixth, two thousand and twenty-four. It says um, it says second. It says uh, Silicon Valley um, in San Jose, out there in in, um, in the Bay Area, the South Bay. It says. Um, it says second harvest of Silicon Valley food bank to close its largest warehouse. See, it says um, it says second harvest of Silicon Valley is closing its largest storage warehouse, marking a big blow for a food bank. See, that is already dealing with a huge need, right? And uh, um. You know the demand for food uh, across the world, but ultimately, ultimately in this place, America, uh, the the demand for food is 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 rising, man. You know, pe people are demanding more food, um, 
And then we, we know what the what the uh, the American dollar is is on its way out. You have job losses, um, uh, inflation. We're going into hyperinflation. You know, um, the Lord is really he he gonna bring the pain here, man. It says for a food bank that is already dealing with a huge need. It says second harvest said Thursday. It is going to have to leave its 90,000 square foot warehouse in San Jose because of looming rent hikes. See? You know, everything is going up because of the inflation. And Esau's closing off, uh, he's shutting down all your resources because Esau wants to bring in that, that he's bringing in his B system. That RF, ultimately that RFID, the, the micro C hit. And you won't be able to buy nothing or sell nothing you won't be able to get no food without that mark, that micro C hit. This is what it's ultimately going to come down to. So Esau right now is, uh, he's shutting off all your resources. So he can bring in his, his B system. It says, um, it says every single week re we receive more than 85 tractor trailer loads of food. All of the food gets handled at our warehouse and goes back into the community. It says, Second Harvest of Silicon Valley, CEO Leslie Balco, Bacco said, unfortunately, this is our largest facility that we are closing. See, this is our largest facility that we are closing. So we're having to just figure out how we can have, how we can have that work get done uh, other places. It says the warehouse closure will make it harder logistically to store and distribute food at a time at a time when one in every six people in the area now depend on the food bank for assistance. One in six people depend on the food bank for assistance. It says Second Harvest serves 500,000 people each month. See? Each month they serve 500,000, that's almost a million people a month in Santa Clara, in Santa Clara and San Mateo counties, man. That's almost a million people a month, man, that they're, that they're serving. Salakia, people, you know, and their families. It's, it's getting tough out here. A famine is going to be serious, man. Let me go here. Uh, let me go here. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Uh, Salakia. Ezekiel 5 and 16, and it reads... It says, when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine. See, when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you, and will break and, and will break your staff of bread. See? And your staff of bread is your food. See, this is this is this is going to be. Um, he said, "I will send." He said, "And I will increase. I will increase the famine uh, um, upon you." See, so the Lord is. It, 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 there's gonna is more and more famine. He he's gonna take away all the food, man. Because because this is going to be. This is going to be one of the judgments for a lot of people that are going to die of starvation. And that's a horrible death. Horrible death to die of starvation. But this is one of the judgments that the Lord is sending. See? He said, and we'll break your staff of bread. It says 17. It says, so will I send upon you famine. So will I send upon you famine and evil beasts, these animals. See, an evil beast. 
They gonna be eating people up. It says, and they shall bereave thee. See? And the Lord, he said he's gonna bereave thee, man. Uh, 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 there's gonna be some close family members that, 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 uh, they're gonna die in a, in a, a starvation. Very close families. You gotta have, uh, you gotta have people, uh, 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 watch their kids die of starvation. Hmm? People are going to watch their own kids die of starvation. Or their mom or, you know, their uh, auntie or uncle or brother or sister. Yeah. He says, and they shall bereave thee. And pestilence and blood shall pass through thee. And I will bring the sword upon them. I, the Lord, have spoken it. See? So the Lord said, uh, uh, right behind... Um, Cause these are the judgments, man. You're gonna have a famine, a physical famine, no food. And right behind that that uh, 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 famine, he's sending uh, the diseases, the pestilence. We see the the the, the diseases are, are 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 they're they're coming. That H1 uh, um, H5N1. Quote me if I'm wrong. That new bird flu disease. You see, and it's gonna be more that's coming. Because coming down the line here with these with these pestilence, they're, they're, you're not going. They're going to be uncurable, man. You're not going to be able to take no medicine or drink some type of drink to cure these new pestilences that are coming that the Lord is sending. And right along that, with no food, no uh, nutrients. See, this is just, the Lord is preparing the judgment. He said, "And pestilence and blood shall pass through thee, and I will bring the sword." The sword upon thee, I, the Lord, have spoken it. So you're going to have that famine. And right behind that famine, he's sending the pestilence, the diseases. He's sending these uh, uh, evil, wild animals after you. And ultimately, he's sending uh, uh, the war. You got civil war and you got world war. See? Like he tell you, uh, 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 it's like uh, uh, dodging a... What do you say? Roughly paraphrasing it in scripture, though. But uh, dodging a bear... Uh, fleeing from the lion and then going in the house and putting your hand on the wall and getting bit by the serpent you can you might you might be able to escape the famine you might be able to escape it's just symbolic and uh, uh, uh you know to what you know the lord is saying man um you know uh to these judgments you you might be able to escape the famine you might be able to escape the diseases the pestilence the, the, you might be able to escape these wild beasts but, but you will not escape uh, those ICBM nuclear uh, uh, missiles that are coming. You see, you won't be able to escape those missiles. Because that's the, that's the ultimate play. The, 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 the ultimate judgment, man, is at fire. See, let me go here. So, uh, uh, you know, the Lord, but the Lord, you know, to the wicked, to you scoffers, uh, because... We have, you know, a good majority of our people uh, that, that, you know, they're mocking the men of the Lord, the prophets, man. And we're sitting here speaking the Lord's word. You see? And and they rejecting their heritage and they think this is a game. But uh, this is a horrible death to die of starvation. See? In the famine. And this is, this is going to be some of your judgments, man. That mocked and scoffed and uh, uh, didn't want to listen. That, that, die, that dying of starvation is going to be your judgment. That's a horrible, horrific death to die of starvation. Let me go here. But for the elect, and then, you know, right along with the pestilence and the violence and stuff that's coming, you know, judgment. But for the elect in this time, because death, uh, uh, famine, and pestilence, the diseases are all are, are coming, man. They're coming. But... What did the Lord say? This is for the elect. For the this is why we got to continue. The Lord willing, I'm part of the hopeful elect. But to endure and keep believing, and, and uh, 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 rehearsing the righteous acts all the way through, because the Lord, you know, in the end here, He really going to show His hand and, and, and do uh, 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 powerful miracles, man, um, for His uh, His chosen, His elect, the remnant out of His people. It says, uh, I'll close out with these last two. Uh, Job 5 and um, Job 5 and 19 
Job 5 and 19, it says, it says, he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven, there shall no evil touch thee. See, all this stuff going to be going on in this end time. Uh, 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 to a good majority of Jake, man, to, to, uh, to our, a lot of our people that didn't listen and mocked and scorned. And then they're all into these other philosoph man-made philosophies and religions and stuff like that. They didn't want to listen. But the, the, for the Lord's elect, the, 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 the men, the, 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 the prophets, the teachers, the whole four elect, the 144,000 into, the, to, into the, uh, the remnant, you know, the men and uh, women, you know, that aren't, aren't teachers, man, but believe on the uh, Holy Mashiach, Yahweh, Baha'i Shem Yahweh Shai, and, 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 that are, and that are rehearsing the righteous acts, too, that believe the Lord, is, he said he's going to uh, uh, deliver thee out of six out of six troubles yea and seven there shall no evil touch thee and 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 that seven represents uh completion so there's there's life or death type situations that are coming that the lord is going to make a way man he's sending michael the archangel back and uh michael the archangel back in this time to uh, uh you know to protect and make a way because the time is going to be so treacherous and so dangerous man we, we, you know we're going we, we're going to need protection so uh, there's great miracles coming, man. You know, gonna feed, gonna feed the, the elect in this time of famine. You know, clothe, you know, clothe the elect. You know, uh, having some clean drinking water. You know, uh, uh, putting that hedge of protection around you. See, and and and, and uh, uh, all the you know everybody that mocked and scoffed and didn't they gonna see it? They gonna see it, and they gonna suffer. It says uh, uh, twenty. I'll close out with this. I'll close out with this 20 it says in famine in famine he shall redeem thee from death see and in war and in war from the power of the sword shalom 